The Pike County Detention Center is now housing North Carolina federal inmates in large numbers. Housing them until the Department of Justice can send them to their next destination. Today I talked with Pike County Jailer Brian Morris. So here at the Pike County Detention Center, we try to run it three to one. Three to one versus one being non-paying inmate versus three that are. So that's always been our ratio. And recently, we've had a hard time getting state inmates. State inmates' populations going down. They're out. They're outsourcing it to contract jails or sending them to prison. So my numbers on paying state inmates has went down. Grab up the Back to School Tech Bundle from Appalachian Wireless. Save up to $850 off. Choose from select iPhones in all sizes, iPad 9th and 10th Gen, and any Apple Watch with a two-year contract on the Mix and Match or Appalachian Advantage plan. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. The county jail houses three levels of inmates, county, state, and federal. There is no daily reimbursement for county inmates until they are sentenced. State inmates, however, bring a per day reimbursement, while federal inmates bring an even higher rate. Before we signed Eastern North Carolina contract, the very first one, our federal population number was six. We was currently at that point housing six federal inmates. As I come in to work this morning, our number was 61. For those concerned that federal offenders will eventually be released into our communities, contract specifications cover this. And I, and I want to stress that, that these inmates are not coming here to be released here. Like we've picked up inmates out of, uh, out of Grayson County, Kentucky, brought them here, housed them for three hours, put them back in a van and took them to New Jersey. None of them will be released here, but it's just a, 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 a stopping point in their transition to federal prison. Morris said today that they will be asking them for a 60% increase for housing federal inmates from the U.S. Department of Justice. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Sheldon Compton.